Hey cool. Brayton, happy Tuesday here to talk to you about our workout for today. If you're going to be joining us outside underneath the viaduct, you're going to need a mat, um, two dumbbells or kettlebells, but if you only have one, that's no problem at all, um, as well as water. It's hot out there, so make sure you stay hydrated. For today, we have 12 rounds alternating every 2.30, every 2 between three different components. Um, so you'll be hitting each of these a total of four times. Um, starting up top, we got 36 sit-ups, 24 dumbbell push press or strict press. That's going to be based on the weight that you have available to you. 12 twisting climbers. So you have 2.30 to finish that first part. Then we have, you'll be resting the remainder of that time. Then the next round you'll be doing one lap around the block and your coach who's there will be able to let you know what that distance is, resting the remainder of that 230. And then this last piece, 36 hollow body flutter kicks, 24 mountain climbers, 12 forearm to tall plank, and again, resting the remainder of the time. In the early rounds, you may be looking at 60 seconds of rest, maybe somewhere between 60 to 90 seconds of rest if you're moving fast. Um, that's okay, it will catch up to you and that long amount of rest will slowly potentially dwindle or you're, or you're going to need the rest. Um, so enjoy it, especially in those early rounds. Um, starting up top, we have our 36 sit-ups. Um, I think we all, all know these feet can either be bent or you can butterfly, hands reaching behind you, and then all the way up towards your toes for those sit-ups. For our 24 dumbbell push press or strict press, um, if you only have light dumbbells, we're going to be doing strict press. If you have dumbbells that are a little bit more of a moderate weight, we'll be doing push press then. Um, so I can, I can show both of those. So starting first with my strict press, we're going to clean these up into our front rack position. My strict press, I'm not using my legs, just pressing those dumbbells straight up overhead. If I'm doing my push press, I'm going to have a slight bend of the knee and then press straight up slight bend of the knee, pressing straight up. So I got 24 of those push press or strict press. If you only have one dumbbell, that is okay. We can modify that with some single arm push press or strict press. Next we have 12 twisting climbers. So this is when we are in the top of our plank position and you're trying to get opposite knee to opposite elbow. Right, yeah. <laughs> Right, I said a brain. Yep. All right, so opposite knee to opposite elbow are twisting climbers for those. So that's your first set that you have. Then we have a city block run, so lap around the block. Then this last piece, 36 hollow body flutter kicks, hollow body position. I'm trying to keep my back nice and flat. Shoulders are off the ground and I'm just gonna be kicking my legs. Each kick is one rep, so one, two, three, four, all the way to 36. My 24 mountain climbers, so now just regular mountain climbers, bringing that knee towards your chest, not crossing over anything like that. So top of plank position, trying to get those knees towards my elbow. Then lastly, 12 forearm to tall, plank. So starting in a forearm plank, moving to a push-up position. Try and remember to switch hands that you're starting for each of these reps. And I got 12 of those. Again, probably going to be finishing this with at least 60 seconds of rest in those early rounds. You'll need it in those later rounds. That's what we have going on on Tuesday. We'll see you underneath the viaduct.